Hello, good morning. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Breaking News TV. Today's news you will learn that US, UK declined Kano's request as observers at trial. This happens to be the first time you come across our channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the ringing bell icon for instant news notification. The United States and the British government have turned down a request by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano to send representatives to observe his trial holding at the Federal High Court Abuja Division on January 18, 1928. While the U.S. said it was limiting its employees from attending public gatherings, the U.K. explained that it does not normally attend a court case involving a British national. The U.S. Embassy and the British High Commission said this in separate responses to inquiries from the Punch on Friday. Kanu lawyer Ifangi Ejafo had last Wednesday written to the U.S. and U.K. missions in Nigeria, stating that the presence of their representatives would ensure a fair hearing for his client. The IPOP leader is facing a seven-count amended charges preferred against him by the federal government. The letter titled Request for Delegates Slash Representatives to Observe Court Proceedings in regard to charge number FHC slash ABG slash CR slash 383 slash 2015, Federal Republic of Nigeria vs. Namdekanu read in part. May we gratefully please request you to send representatives to observe the proceedings of the court on those adjourned dates and on any other date to which further proceedings in the case may be. In the case may be adjourned until the matter is disposed of. The need to ensure that our client is given a fair trial has compelled us to make this request. The instance request is compelling in the circumstance to ensure that the whole process of a client's trial is fair and just in all circumstances. It must be remembered that his purported indictment on criminal charges has a political undercurrent. A therefore argued that the federal government has a profound interest in the criminal charge pending against his client and the outcome of his trial. But the U.S. mission, which disclosed that it is following the trial closely, declared that its officials will not attend the court. It stated as follows. The U.S. mission in Nigeria is following the trial of Nandikano closely. The U.S. Department of State is limiting employees from attending public gatherings. In its response, the British High Commission acknowledged Kano's status as a Briton, but stated the FCDO, thus Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, will not normally attend a court case involving a British national. But where we do consider it appropriate to attend, our consular staff would do so in an observational capacity only. When asked to clarify if the Commission would send observers to the trial, which begins on Tuesday today, the British High Commission's spokesman, Dean Holder said, we can only offer you this as our response. And this marks the end of our story at the moment. Stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more news updates coming ahead. Have a nice time and goodbye.